after learning the initial three vapor absorption cycles the last type of uh, vapor absorption system is an lithium bromide absorption refrigeration system so in this the initial consideration is that the four components uh, which are condenser generator evaporator and absorber now they are connected in two areas wherein the initial lower circle which we can see is consisting of two components which is evaporator and absorber and on the upper circle we will observe a condenser and a generator so initially the working of the cycle of the lithium bromide system is that the lithium and bromide so lithium and bromide means bromide salt is used for the absorption process and lithium and water is also used for the chilling purpose or we can say for the refrigeration purpose so basically when the lithium bromide system is uh, used it is used for a very very lower temperatures for producing lower temperatures from the system so we will see the working or the construction first so see the evaporator here evaporator is at the top side wherein a high temperature and low temperature output is getting here and you can see the spray that is the uh, chilled water tubes are present here so that they are uh, lowering the temperature of the system here at the same time an absorber is present here so this absorber is fully or that is 75 percent filled with water at the top side you will see condenser is there so the process will be same that is from evaporator to absorber from absorber to condenser from condenser to the again another to the evaporator again same system will be present here but basically the initial thing is that the uh, way in which the installation of this cycle is taken the installation of this cycle is vertical so that it requires a very very less space so here you will see in generator also a heating coils are present so first we will start with the working basically the general thing behind the lithium bromide system is that the lithium bromide absorption refrigeration system uses a solution of lithium bromide in water so basically water is being used as a refrigerant and whereas the lithium bromide is a very highly hydroscopic salt which is used as an absorbent the lithium uh, bromide solution in this case is having a very very strong affinity for water vapor so that uh, the attraction to the water vapor is more because of its very very low vapor pressure so see that the lithium bromide solution is having a very very low vapor pressure and so it has more attraction towards water but what happens is as it is corrosive also the lithium chromate or the bromide is often used as an inhibitor means it is also used as an additional salt in water the absorber and evaporator as we have explained that the absorber and evaporator are placed in a one shell and they operate at same temperature which is a lower temperature in the system while the generator and condenser are placed in another shell which operates as a same temperature which is the higher pressure inside the system so these two was works at high pressure and these two objects or the devices work at low low pressure system so remember that water for air conditioning coils are pumped through the chilled water tubes and therefore the evaporator is giving up the heat to refrigerant water spread over the tubes what happens is now in evaporator the water is spread through the chilled tubes and so therefore what happens is heat exchange takes place here in the evaporator and therefore a low temperature is produced then since the evaporator is maintained at a very very low temperature the refrigerant water 
the refrigerant water evaporates and the vapors are absorbed by the strong solution which is there in the absorber so <coughs> this leads to evaporation of some portion of water thereby making the solution strong <coughs> now this solution which becomes strong with the absorption of the molecules from the evaporator is sent back to the absorber again by spraying as shown in the figure see what happens is that from the absorber it is pumped and it is sent to the heat exchanger from heat exchanger it is passed to the generator but what happens here is the cooling water is present here so you can see the cooling water tank from cooling water the water is pumped through the system and this water goes via the absorber and it passes to the top side of the condenser that is the from some water is taken from condenser so what happens is as evaporator molecules are entered here at the same time the cooling water is added here so mostly the solution becomes strong enough to absorb some molecules so the absorber is again sent to the generator now what happens in generator you will see that heating coils are provided so mostly the vapor are produced in the generator and as these are placed in a single shell what happens is the hot vapors which are generated are directly taken up by the condenser so in that condenser tray the hot vapors are being placed at the same time from this you will see that the condensate water is taken up by the condenser to the evaporator so what happens is from the condenser directly the pipe is been connected with the help of a wall so when generator is producing the hot vapors pass to the top side of the shell of the condenser the condensate is taken that is the high pressure liquid is taken away from a wall to the evaporator so the uh, complexity of the system is there as always again we were going to mention from starting how the system is working see in lithium bromide system here the evaporators are produced or provided with chilled water so the uh, water particles which are evaporated are taken up by the absorber and this absorber is in contact with the cooling water which is pumped from this tank and therefore a strong solution is created this strong solution is taken via the heat exchanger to the generator in generator as heating coils are present the strong solution is heated and it is converted into vapor and this vapor is been taken up by the tray which is there in the condenser shell so at the upper part of the shell so it becomes high pressure liquid because the cooling water is provided from the bottom tank and therefore this condensate is taken via this line to the valve and then to the valve to the evaporator stage and in this way the refrigeration effect is produced basically the extra components which we, uh, we can see here is that there are two input lines and one input line is there that is strong now when strong solution is passed to the condensate there should be another line which should be passing the weak solution to the particular system so therefore you can also observe that the solution which is there some amount of strong solution that is strong lithium bromide solution is passed to heat exchanger to exchange the heat with the strong solution which is coming from the absorber so therefore there is an exchange of heat so that it can create an enough amount of work in the absorber to continue the cycle as a thermodynamic system so therefore the working of the lithium bromide system is in this way same thing as compared to the electrolux refrigeration system but the thing is that these two components are working in one shell and the other two that is condenser and generator are working in an another shell so basically lithium bromide absorption system is having a higher cop as compared to the other vapor absorption systems basically the working of this lithium bromide system is dependent on the gravity difference 
that the vapor molecules are sent in the upward direction the condensate is taken from the top side as it is in liquid condition so due to gravity it will float naturally in downward direction because its density is more so the uh, gravity difference is taken into consideration for the lithium bromide system